going on everybody and welcome back to a new episode of GBA. In this video I wanted to talk about my Arcade 1UP machine a little bit. And the reason why I want to talk about it is because I actually bought this Street Fighter Arcade 1UP machine intentionally to mod it. Um, I really didn't have any uh, interest in keeping it with just the uh, three Street Fighter 2 games that came in the uh, machine itself. Um, I just wanted to uh, see what I could get out of it for as cheap as possible. Um, well, fast forward a while, I never did it, uh, just simply because sometimes it's hard for me to find time to do stuff. Uh, but, so, fast forward, I had it for a while, the thing stopped working. So, basically, the Street Fighter board inside of it just went out. I really don't know why. I played it a little bit, but I never really played it too much, so it's kind of weird that it died on me so soon after buying it. But I guess I just took that opportunity to go online, purchase some stuff to mod it, and that's what we're talking about here. So I'm going to put in the video or, or uh, video or the description or whatever that basically I spent $110 on this uh, Arcade 1UP machine and now it plays over 10,000 games and uh, it's a lot more fun now I guess is, is what, you know, basically what I'm trying to point out. Uh, so the reason why I chose the Street Fighter 2 arcade machine is because it had a six button layout. Uh, so that way I didn't have to really modify the control panel too much because most games that you want to play, you know, from, you know, the PS1 era of games, the arcade games, and down, you know, the, like NES and stuff like that, uh, you, you, you know, a lot of those systems, they don't really need any more than six buttons, so this really fit that bill perfectly for what I wanted it for. Um... Also, I like the aesthetics of the cabinet. One day I might get an art package to put on the cabinet. Um, I don't know. Basically, what my theory of this was to spend as much, as little money as possible. Uh, because it is kind of like a toy, to be completely honest with you. At least to me. And uh, I build custom arcade machines a lot. So I actually have a uh, another arcade machine that I play a lot in my game room. So this was more just a fun little project. Uh, as I've been talking here, I hope I put pictures in the video showing you guys exactly what I bought to do this project with. Uh, and a little disclaimer too, um, I did not include in the price, but I had a cheap uh, Windows PC laying around that I wasn't using. Uh, so I'm using that to run the machine. So if you don't have something, you're going to have to buy that too. But the uh, $110 was basically for the, uh, the new board for the LCD TV. Um, you know, new buttons and joysticks, the uh, power supply that I bought, and some various other things, I think, like the speakers and different things like that. So hopefully I, sh I will show you guys exactly what I bought. And keep in mind that I could have done a lot more. I could have spent a lot more money and made this thing into some sort of beast. But I was trying to do this for as cheap as possible. So basically in the second half of this video, I'm going to show you guys a quick walk around the machine and just talk about a little bit more, and then that will probably do it for this video. So on to the next part of the video, guys. I hope you enjoy this walk around. All right, guys, so here's a quick walk around the machine, and I'm going to talk about it a little bit more as well. I don't know if I mentioned in the video, but this plays most console systems from the Atari Age of Gaming up to stuff like PlayStation 1 and some Nintendo 64 games, and obviously pretty much all arcade games you know, from the 70s all the way up through the mid-2000s or so. Um, yeah, so it's probably got over 10,000 games, to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, you know, aesthetically, I didn't really change much of the uh, look of the Street Fighter 2 arcade cabinet itself. One day I might get a new art package for it, I'm not so sure. But yeah, so right now it's playing uh, Ninja Turtles on the NES. Uh, so a quick look at the buttons. These are obviously better than what came with the machine from factory, which is good because those buttons and joysticks would wear out pretty fast, you know, that it came with at least. Uh, I did have to drill two holes in the front of the cabinet and put two more buttons here. And basically those act as the uh, coin buttons for arcade games. You'll notice on the control panel I did leave the uh, on-off switch, the volume switch, and I left the speaker in there too. Um, 
For the switches, I didn't want just random holes in the control panel. They obviously don't do anything anymore, but they also don't hurt anything by being there. It just looks better aesthetically just to leave them there. Uh, the TV with the uh, new board has HDMI out, and it looks really, really good. I have noticed some screen tearing, which kind of sucks, but it's a cheap monitor, so, I mean, it's to be expected a little bit. So, real quick, I decided to leave the uh, PC tower outside of the machine. Um, I did this for a few reasons. It's just easier to get to, plus I was a little bit worried if I put it inside, it would overheat a little bit. Um... But it's out of the way. It's not hurting anything being back here. And like I said, it's easy to access. And that's actually the uh, external hard drive that I have on it that's, uh, you know, running all the games and stuff like that. Um, I used just some cheap speakers from Amazon. You'll see I just mounted them to the top of the machine here. I could have put them inside the machine, but once again, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on this project. And they sound good up there, and they're kind of out of the way. Um, and they were cheap. I mean, like, literally less than $15. But, yeah, that is just a quick little walk around of the machine itself. And, you know, just the different things I changed on it. Um, if you guys would like to know anything else about this machine, let me know down in the comments. If you guys would like a more in-depth walk around or, you know, basically going through what systems play on it, let me know. Um, if you guys would like to see me fire up any specifically ga any specific games, let me know. But yeah, guys, that's probably going to do it for this video. And my quick look at my um, cheap modded Arcade 1-Up machine. So yeah, that's probably going to do it. But first, I want to say thank you, guys. I appreciate every single one of you for watching this video. Um, if you haven't, please like, comment, subscribe. I would appreciate it. If you know anybody who might like this kind of content, share the video around. But guys... Probably going to go open up some more boxes, maybe play this arcade machine a little bit. Try to enjoy the rest of my evening. Hope you do too. So until next time, everyone, I'll see you later.